DC to DC converters are commonly used in a wide variety of applications, such as industrial, telecommunications, medical diagnostic equipment, and everyday portable electronics. However, one of the biggest challenges with existing converters is reducing the constant current drain from the source when the load is turned off or the converter is disabled. Finding a converter that is efficient at full load, light load, and draws little current in standby mode is critical. Yet, there are very few solutions available. The number of options diminishes even further when simplicity is considered. Well, do not despair. There is hope. My name is Jesus Rosales. I'm a senior applications engineer for Power Products A Linear Technology. I will demonstrate the latest linear technology DC to DC converters that can solve your design challenges. The LT8330 is a very versatile, easy to use monolithic converter that can be used for a variety of topologies, such as Boost, Sepik, or Chuk. In whatever topology it is used, Sensing the output voltage can be done by simply connecting a resistor divider from the output to ground, regardless of output polarity. Since the LT8330 has integrated all the components needed for good stability and soft start, only eight external components are necessary for a regulated converter. This schematic shows a boost converter, stepping the output voltage to 48 volts from a 12 volt input. When it comes to efficiency, the emphasis is usually on reducing power loss of full load. However, in today's world, reducing power loss is critical at any load level, including standby mode. If the converter is turned off, it must not drain the source, especially if the source is a battery. This is where the LT8330 shines. This figure shows some efficiency for the simple step-up converter previously shown. It peaks at about 90% and stays above 70% down to just a few milliamps of load current. When the converter is turned off, the input current is only about 13 microamps, drawn by the feedback resistors. Often, the input source needs to be higher or lower than the output. For this situation, a SEPIC converter comes in handy. This topology has the added benefit of surviving output share circuits. And the voltage lockout is very useful in situations where the source impedance is high or the input voltage is ramped very slowly. In such cases, the inrush current can drag the input voltage down and keep the converter from starting up. The LT8330 has programmable under voltage lockout with hysteresis. This epic is programmed to start switching when the EN UVLO pin rises to 1.6 volts and stops as it falls below 1.6 volts. For applications that require negative rails, a chuck converter can be used with minor modifications. In this chuck converter, quiescent current is a mere one microamp when the EN UVLO pin is low, and about 100 microamps in active mode when the output is unloaded. Although the LT8330 covers low and high voltage applications, for upper voltage higher than 48 volts, the LT8331 is a suitable part. It has an internal 140 volt, 500 milliamp switch and shares many features with the LT8330, but offers more. The LT8331 has programmable soft start, which allows you to vary the switch current by simply changing the value of a capacitor. This will enable you to control inrush current problems. It has the ability to run in different modes. Like the LT8330, it has burst mode operation, but can also run in post skipping mode or be synchronized to an external clock. While both LT8330 and LT8331 can be used with all the topologies, the LT8331 can be used for flyback converters as well. This schematic shows a 120 volt boost converter with a 36 volt to 72 volt input. With the sync mode pin tied to ground, the converter enters burst mode operation at light loads, where the switching frequency drops progressively as the load is decreased. 
A burst mode operation helps to maintain very low output ripple at light loads. With just a few more components, a 240 volt application is generated, a simple, high voltage application. The LT8330 and LT8331 are low quiescent current, internally compensated monolithic converters. They increase battery life by reducing the supply current to mere microamps. They achieve high efficiency levels even at very light loads, while maintaining very low output ripple. The LT8330 covers many high voltage applications, but when even higher voltages are necessary, the LT8331 is the part to use. For more information, please see the data sheet on linear.com. Thank you for watching.